Who says that being a pervert won't do you good? I have a 300-year-old man who will say different. In a world where humans have their worth measured by a number printed on their bodies, if it ever reaches zero, they're dragged back into a dark abyss by these weird dark hands. Hina here witnessed her mother get dragged by these hands and gave her a glass orb with the number 10,000 inside it and told her to find the legendary ace with the white star. Hina travels for five years searching and her number increases with how many kilometers she travels, so it was nothing. She met Licht, who by far is the most perverted man I've ever seen in my life. And his boss Nana, who explains to Hina about the world and the numbers. A military guy with white star on his face appears saying that he is this legendary ace. I mean, I don't know about that. Seems like a pickup play, but let's find out. Poor Hina believes him and goes with him. Oh, he molests her. Oh, I told you this guy's an imposter. The idiot Hina shows him from the 10,000 orb, which he identifies as the ballot, and tries to take it from her by force. But Hina's count is higher than his, so according to the rule, that person with the lowest count must obey the higher. Hina had an advantage here, but he challenges her into a star stake, where they fight for the other's count. And the jerk manages to take her count, leaving her with only one and he reveals that he is not the ace, but an imposter! And he laughs at Hina, because the ace is long dead as he lived 300 years ago. That's when a hero came to Hina's rescue. It's Licht. Sorry Hina, not a hero, but a pervert. But the strange thing is, is that Licht has a negative 999 count which is how many times he got rejected by girls. Finally, I found someone more pathetic than me. <laughs> it was impossible, unless he was a ballot holder, to raise his number above zero. And prepare for the surprise, fellas, as this pervert is the legendary ace, Lichtbach, with a white star and a count of 5,700. As the story says, 300 years ago, there was a Big war, where a group of warriors known as the Aces battled for humanity, only to disappear once the war ended. Licht easily defeats the soldiers with his super speed that gave him the title, Ace of Flashing Strikes. <laughs> and man, he was the real thing. He was knocking people down with just his footsteps. Licht defeats the jerk and takes all of his count, giving it to Hina. I misjudged you, dude. Licht, you're the best. Suddenly, Licht steals Hina's 10,000 orb! And once a pervert, always a pervert. I can't believe I thought you were a good guy. But as it appears, having a ballot is a crime unless you're in the military. So Licht was actually saving Hina. She goes after him, and he ignores her, making his count negative 1,000. In a peaceful village, where this girl here, Lynn, a sergeant who is trying to get her count up by volunteering, she wants to be in a high rank enough to choose her own uniform. Apparently, she doesn't like her miniskirts. Well, let me tell you something, Lynn. I like it, and I'm sure that everyone in the village likes it. So don't change it, okay? Please? Lynn and her second, Peel, run into a masked man with the exact descriptions of Licht, but he deludes them with his minus count, saying that he got rejected by a thousand women. So in order to raise his count, Lynn agrees to go on a date with Licht. As the date continues, Peel suddenly points out that Licht's negative 1000 means he must be a ballot holder. Now why you gotta ruin the fun, man? They unmask him, and it's the legendary Ace, who is also a big pervert. Leech steals Lin's sword, but he doesn't know that she fights with kicking. And man, those are the best kicks I've seen in my entire life. A kick and a skirt up. A kick and a skirt up. Another kick and her skirt goes up. <laughs> it's the first time I wish I was getting kicked by a girl. Meanwhile, a lieutenant named Jail forces Nana to tell him where Leeked is, and he goes after him. I don't know, but... Anyone with glasses is always a badass in anime, so Licht, you better watch your back. 
Licht is being chased by Lin all around the village, and the villagers follow them, thinking that Licht and Hina are in some sort of relationship. When suddenly, Lieutenant Jail attacked, and his count seemed to be 900. What? I got my hopes up for 900. I guess each rule has an exception, Four Eyes. And you're it. Licht, knowing that the loser in front of him only has a 900 count, tells him to withdraw. But here's the surprise, folks. Lieutenant Jail was hiding his true count, which is 12,500. It's over 9,000! Okay, okay. I admit, I misjudged him. He's a badass. Lieutenant Jail surrounds Licht with iron bars, preventing him from escaping and then successfully capturing him. And with the way Licht fights, Lieutenant Jail doubts that he was in the military before. Licht ignores his questions, so Lieutenant Jail decides to torture him. That's when Lin interferes helping Licht. I guess she likes him touching her like that. <laughs> I guess Licht is not the only pervert. <laughs> Disgusted by Lin's failure to punish criminals in favor of her charity work, so Jail yells at her for being lazy, which made Licht mad, because he knows she works more than anyone in the village. Licht breaks his hold and fights with Jail. Oh, man, their fight was intense. It destroyed the cliff that Lin was on. Jail rushed to rescue her. I guess you have a soft heart after all. And here I thought you were as cold as iron. But surprisingly, Licht was faster than him. He saves Lin and told her she's heavy, which made her mad and his count became negative 1001. Just some advice, guys. But never, ever comment on a woman's weight. You look great. You've lost some weight. These are the only two that are ever acceptable. Everything else is off limits. He throws Lin to jail and escapes. Touched by Licht's words, Jail helps in building a playground for the kids and gives Licht a three days advantage, which made his count decrease as he gave up his conviction. Licht is found by Hina and Nana. Suddenly, a girl named Pelmo comes flying with wooden plane, but she falls into a cliff, and a nice guy Licht is, he saves her. But we all know it's just a way so he can feel her. As I always say, once a pervert, always a pervert. Pelmo is trying to build a plane, which is against the rules, by the way, and she will be executed for doing so. But she cares less about her life and more about her dream. And with the help of Licht, she's able to create her final project. When the soldiers arrive, Licht is forced to destroy Pelmo's plane to save her life. But the shocking thing is that this was her last time to make her dream come true, as her count was one. And now it's down to zero. <laughs> nice one, Licht. You wanted to do good, and it backfired on you. Wait, why am I laughing? An abyss suddenly opens and starts dragging Pelmo. I have a weird feeling about this abyss. I know it does what it's supposed to, but the hands seem to enjoy grabbing her from the breast. Hina tries to save her, but the abyss fights back. Licht tries to save Hina, but when the Abyss hits his sword, he suffers a violent flashback. Lin catches up to Licht and thanks him for saving her, but then she tries to arrest him. Hey Licht, the heart is yours, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Nana suggests a cooking battle between Lin and Hina to decide who will win Licht, and man, the soups they made? Whew, it was a clear win for Lin. But as my father once said, don't judge the book from its cover. Wait, who said that? Anyway, Hina's soup turns out to be delicious, and it's a hard decision for Licht, but he's saved by the last man he wanted to see, Lieutenant Jail. The two fight a little, and Nana stops them as they were scaring her customers off, and tells them to enjoy the festival instead. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Nana here is more than just two big melons. I think she's hiding something. The next morning, Jail, Lin, and Peel awaken, hungover, with Licht and the others are gone. As they chase them, they come across an injured soldier from another town that has been completely destroyed. The surviving soldier says that the city was destroyed by a fire-breathing demon that came out of the abyss. I wonder what this demon looks like, but from the looks of it and the description told, I don't think you'll be pleased with it. 
Lieutenant Jail takes the soldier for treatment in the next town, where he finds Licht, so the two get into a drinking contest, when suddenly, the earth starts to quake, and the abyss appears in the middle of the city. Licht begins to hear a sound that is said to be the demons, and says that these monsters were all killed in the war 300 years ago, and boom, the demon comes out. Big horns, wide wings, pointed fangs, and a big fork! Not what I was expecting, but guess what? It's a frickin' helicopter. You ignorant idiots. This is not a demon, it's just a helicopter. <laughs> Man, I got my hopes up to see something scary. The helicopter attacks Leaked, tells everyone to take cover, but Lieutenant Jail resists Leaked taking command. Leaked reveals he holds the military rank of Colonel. Wait, what? Lee starts attacking the helicopter, but all things stops him, as it appears, if anyone is attacked by the abyss, he's sentenced to death. So Jail and the others can't help Leet. he's on his own. But like I said, people with glasses are always badasses. Hey, that has a nice tone. People with glasses are always badasses. Leet reached the helicopter, but once he saw inside, he froze. Suddenly. The helicopter is shot down and falls into the abyss, and the one who shot it is this four eyes right here. Yeah, about the previous rule, let me tell you something. People with glasses are always badasses. Except if they're women. <laughs> she is the ace of pursuit, Sonohara Mizuka. And damn, her count is 32,000. She looks like a good person. I mean, she shot down the helicopter that was killing everyone. <laughs> Psych! She shoots Jail and the other citizens around. She's obsessed with Licht, because apparently, he was her leader in the war 300 years ago and wants him to revert to his previous self, as his real name is Rito, and he's a stone-cold killer. Sonohara threatens to kill a child, which drives Licht crazy. And damn, damn! Sonohara men's vanish in a blood shader. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited right now! Licht finally answers Hina in Jail's question of who he is. He is the plunderer, and he dreams of claiming everything in the country for himself. I mean, you may think it's a selfish dream, but if one guy can do this, hell, there ain't no stopping him. Licht engages in a star stake with Sonohara. A red power violently emerges from Licht, increasing the count on his sword to 57,000. <laughs> Man, if Vegeta and Nappa were here, they'd lose their voices from saying, It's over 9,000! And he begins moving so fast that Sonohara can't see him. Hell, I can't even see him. Nana reveals that Licht has been taken over by his evil other personality called Schmelman. Schmelman defeats Sonohara, and her count drops to 16,000, causing Nana to suspect Sonohara had also been under the influence of an evil personality. Man, I don't care what you say or what happens, this Nana knows something. I suspect that she's... <laughs> uh. And just when Schmelman is about to kill Sonohara, Jail interferes this time with his full power. He has another count of 45,000. People with glasses are always badasses. And quite a surprise, he defeats Schmelman and says, Hi fellas, cause Licht is back. As Licht recovers, his star stake with Sonohara is left unfinished. So all thing can't leave and begins molesting the girls. Except for Hina. Wait a minute, Hina's flat, so I can relate to all things. Jail is summoned by the Supreme Commander. I thought that he will be punished for attacking all things, but surprisingly, the Commander is his adopted father. And after asking about Sonohara and her men, Jail is told that they work directly under the royal family, and also that the Aces are surgically altered into human weapons. The Commander asks Jail about Licht, and he lies but his count drops one, so the commander tells him he knows that they attacked all thing and gives him the choice, his men or Licht. Jail returns and tries to capture Licht, but is stopped by Nana. She reveals her true power, and I'll be damned, she is an ace. Now, what did I tell you, man? I know a badass when I see one, and Nana is one. I mean, two, 
and with her power, she sends them into modern Japan, telling them to change the past that she couldn't. They see Sonohara and Licht, who is then known as Rito, as teenagers in high school. 